Hi. Good morning, good peoples of the internet. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's me, Pillow Passion Fruit, and I'm here with another video that y'all did not ask for. Hi, fresh faces. I feel like my bandana is slipping. Anyways, hi Fresh Faces. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. But before we begin, before you even begin, go ahead, like, comment, share, and subscribe because I know you're gonna forget and we might as well start now. You don't even know what you're getting into yet, but you might as well just do it now. Just like Nike said, you know? Welcome to the first video in my new apartment. We're on the floor of my closet right now. We're probably gonna find a different space to record sooner or later. I don't know, I kinda like it. I might just hang some stuff up here. I like the white wall, but I'm planning on turning this into like a, a chill zone, just cause it's actually so big. Like, the closet is big. But all that is to say, I'm here to give y'all my opinion. I'm here to give you my opinion. That's all I have to say. Today, we'll be hopping on the good, good Reddit Here's my handy dandy iPad. Let's just go ahead and get started, for real. I already found one. We're just gonna like go with the flow, see what we find, and I'm gonna validate your opinion or invalidate it, you know? The first one, I'm gonna invalidate it. <laughs> Going to a bar shouldn't be the most encouraged form of socialization. I feel like I said that weird. Socialization, socialization, socialization. I hope I said it right. Bars are overrated and weird. You go to a bar, have a drink, and socialize. Then the next day, you don't remember much or had any meaningful conversations. Did I read that right? I did. Any connections you made never last because everyone goes back to their regular lives the next day. Going to a bar is like a way for people to blow off steam and waste time. I wish other forms of socializing were encouraged more than just going to a bar. Okay, so I feel you in the fact that like, you know, they don't really last. And I also understand what my limit is. So I I don't know what you're doing, me personally. I have a difference between bars, clubs, and lounges, right? At a club, I'm gonna get teed up. At a bar, I'm probably gonna be a little teed up just to like enjoy the company, I guess. You know, enjoy the crowd. At a lounge, I'm gonna be like almost teed up. So pretty much a being teed up tier. At the top is club, middle tier is lounge, Third tier is bar, lowest tier, right? I mean, personally, I'm just not getting that messed up to like not remember a conversation. You know what I'm saying? I'm worried for you now. What are you doing? What are you doing to not know what's going on next? Unless bars are your thing. If bars are your, if bars are your top tier, by all means, do what you gotta do. <laughs> Let's move on. Apologizing should make you look strong. I don't know how I'm gonna feel. Before I get into it, I'm gonna agree with it. I'm gonna validate it. I'm gonna validate this parking, okay? I feel that the philosophy that apologizing in any manner makes you look weak is an outdated outlook. I've been finding lately that apologies are much harder to come by because nobody wants to look like they're wrong. Therefore, apologizing, fixing, and learning from mistakes should be considered the stronger philosophy. I validate this, because if I mess up, then yeah, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm gonna apologize. I'm not, I'm, I really don't have a problem with apologizing either, like, if I mess up and I learn how like that person felt because I messed up, you know, because of my doing. So yeah, I validate this, but I don't know if anybody else disagrees with this. I forgot I'm supposed to be screenshotting, so I don't know if I'm gonna have all of these with me. You guys, SZA, SZA dropped snooze today, the day I'm recording this. Uh, it's August 25th, right? Oh my gosh, it's already August 25th. I'm seeing Chloe Bailey in two weeks. Is it two weeks? I think it's two weeks from now. Yeah, it's a week and some change. Okay, anyways, guys, stay tuned because I know y'all like the concerts. So if you're watching this video and you are here for the concerts, then luckily you now know that I'm gonna go see Chloe Bailey, which means you're gonna go see Chloe Bailey too. Anyways, breaking up for college is stupid. I'm scared to read this. I'm scared to read this because I think I think it's really just that recently I've been talking about one of my friends that did this but it was for high school. If you plan to break up for the college experience, it's not out of love at all. Sure, distance is tough, but if you aren't willing to at least give it a shot and would rather allow your so... No, I read that right. Okay, let me read it slow so y'all see what I'm reading. Okay, 
sure distance is tough but if you aren't willing to at least give it a shot and would rather allow you are so to get the experience you clearly didn't love and care for each other enough it's like you were just dating for the sake of dating okay that sentence tripped me up but i pick up what they put down yes i agree not that I've dated anybody to be agreeing with this, but like, I think it's stupid. I think it's honestly stupid. If y'all think, if like, if y'all were dating and y'all wanted it to last for real, you wouldn't be breaking up just because you're going to college or just because it's long distance. Like, I know a lot of people in my high school, like, they was in it to be in it. Like, these people are actually getting married, like, first year out of high school. To be breaking up, but like, during, just because of college? That's crazy to me. I just think that's stupid. Like, you're just a whore. You're horny. Okay, yeah, I'm looking at the comments and they're pretty much saying the same thing that I said, just a little more in depth. So, yeah, looks like we came to a validation. You've been validated. <laughs> Ooh, I don't like this one. I don't think I like this one. Okay, okay. Dark humor is completely overplayed. I don't know. I don't know. Let's get into it. Okay, so if you've been on the internet for more than three years, it feels like dark jokes repeat over and over again for years on end. It just isn't funny anymore. And I don't mean as in the jokes themselves weren't funny, but rather they have been repeated so much that they have just lost any impact whatsoever. I added, I added a few words just to make it roll off the song. But anyways, what? Wait a minute, I'm confused. What jokes are you hearing so often that it's become repetitive? I thought dark humor was just like, depend, really dependent on the scenario. I really thought it was just dependent on the scenario. How are you hearing the same jokes over and over again? I'm confused, let's move on to the comments. That's crazy. One of these comments is really trauma dumping. Yeah, one of these trauma, oh, yeah, one of these trauma dumpers is validating my opinion while I invalidate their opinion. To further invalidate their opinion, it's a lot. <laughs> okay, I think, I think I figured it out. There's like two definitions a dark humor that I'm picking up on. I'm picking up on the like situational dark humor. Everybody likes to be like, oh, American schools get shot up, rada, 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 like that. So I'm picking up on situational dark humor and then I'm also picking up on like that type of stuff. I think it's still cool. I think it's still in the running. You know what I'm saying? Stereotypical situations, right? Where we're talking about like countries and stuff like that, I guess. Y'all yeah, can cancel that personal situations keep it going keep it coming your opinion's been validated to be invalidated heat slash hot weather is an excuse for bad behavior i'm not gonna lie yo it's been hat my apartment has been in like 80 for the past week it just got fixed like yesterday night so before i even get into this i'm validating the opinion i be wanting to act a fool i want i want i be wanting to act all the way out you know what i'm saying i live in south florida number one already you got me there you got me there i don't even know if i want to keep reading this because like floridians be on something floridians be on something i live in south florida it's hot all year round but in summer sheesh and i've noticed that throughout my life living here that i'm significantly more lazier during the summer I don't go outside as much. I don't get much done because it's hard to even step outside at like 6 to 7 p.m. to be honest. And when I say bad behavior, I'm more so talking about laziness and complacency, but anger and frustration and irritability does become a lot more frequent during this time of year as well. Completely validated, completely validated. I'm telling y'all, I wanted to do some homework the other day, but it was just so hot outside and so hot in my room. The only thing I could do was eat and then fall asleep and then wake up to go to the job. And I was pissed off there too completely completely validated your opinion is not unpopular let me tell you right now okay okay as a youtuber i think i might relate to this i don't know i just saw the word youtube in the like title so i'm a little intrigued i want to see what they got to say dopamine has become an overused youtube buzzword i don't get it so let, let's just get into it all the time I hear YouTubers use the word dopamine to sound smart, but in reality, they don't have a full understanding of the word. Not saying I have an understanding any better. It's just like these people are trying to be seen as deep or something, but I can't take them seriously. I usually see this in video essays about video games, which makes me want to take the creators even less seriously. Thoughts? Question mark. 
Okay, I think I agree. I just don't be watching gamers or anything like that. I think, did they bring up gamers? Oh, they brought up video games. Dang, I took psychology. I took AP Psych. I took, not, even, not only did I take AP Psych, I took a college course, psychology. Maybe it was introduction. I can't remember. It was back in community college days. Or, no, that was high school. Anyways, <laughs> hmm. What do I think? What am I thinking? What am I thinking? If you're not a scientist, I guess you sound slow. Sorry. Validated. The ape trend is just people being overly judgmental and arrogant. Uh -huh. So far, invalidated. So far, invalidated. Mm -hmm. Basically, all the videos I've seen about the ape trend is people, mostly women, shaming their partner for any kind of uncool or childlike behavior. But the things that give them the ick are mostly just really small, inconsequential behaviors that they probably also do. It just seems like a way to cruelly make fun of people without explicitly saying it. Either that or it's just completely random things that no one would suspect because the other, oop, because the ick for someone, which I would assume just makes people more insecure about them. What? Maybe I can't read it. Maybe people just can't type. Either that, or it's just completely random things that no one would suspect. No, I read that right. Wait, I'm so confused. Okay, wait. <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm so confused right now. Either that, or it's just completely random things that no one would suspect because the ick for someone, which I would assume just makes people more insecure about the things they do in day-to-day -day life. I'm fighting for my life trying to read these posts, y'all. I don't even know. Um, I'm gonna judge everything they said. No, I'm gonna judge everything before what they just said was said. Also, somebody tell me if I'm tripping because I could, I, I don't know what I just read. Well, no, like, it's still an ick, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if it's something small that they do, you don't like it. It's not, like, publicizing it. Publicizing it is like, that's different. But if there's something that you don't like about your partner, your friend, that's an ick to you. It just has a name to it. And now you're mad, <laughs> quite frankly. Whatever they do still gives you the ick. It's not changing, your opinion's invalidated. I found one that I kinda, like, I agree with based off, like, the title. Uh, it should not be rude to, ooh. <laughs> I can't speak, I can't do it, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. It should not be rude or wrong to ask someone their age. I I validate I validate immediately. Um, me personally, it doesn't bother me if someone asks my age, but for some people, they get offended by the question and will say, it's none of your business, what's the hide? It's not like asking someone for their bank account number. Maybe it's more from older adults. Let's say you're a year older than me. You just have that extra year that I don't have. Like, I'm telling you, like right now, I'm 21. 21 and 22 are so different because when I'm 21 right now, I'm still in school. 22, they're in their first year of probably grad life or grad school or like post-grad life. You know what I'm saying? So I think I said the same thing twice. One year's difference could mean a lot. Just in knowing that helps. Therefore, the opinion is validated. Have y'all listened to Jaguar 2? So everybody who's going to go see Victoria Monet, Heavy on the FU. <laughs> Heavy on it, cause I didn't get tickets. <laughs> okay, okay, I found a new one. Ooh, it's got cuss words in it. I don't care. <laughs> okay. People overuse the word cringe in an attempt to sound cool and make other people sound like losers. <laughs> what? Ever major loser. <laughs> Invalidated. I'm gonna just start right there. Uh, people throw around the word cringe even when something isn't cringe because it's a power grab. Let people enjoy things, you effing a-holes. Only say cringe if it's legitimately cringe. Cringe is the new hip word this year because people are desperate to come out on top of an argument. And fittingly so, it's only internet dwellers. Nobody says cringe in real life. I have never said cringe so many times in five minutes. Less than that, two, three, whatever, however long it was. Still invalidate you only for the fact that no, I think I will validate you. I'll, I'll validate you just because don't say cringe. Say something's cringy. Make it an adverb, please. You can't just say that's cringe. That sounds terrible and that was cringy. You used the whole word. 
I mean, it's still a whole word, but say it's cringy. Like, just say it's cringy. Don't say it's cringe. That's cringy. You see what I'm saying? It's just the way words flow. If you say cringe, you're gonna grind my gears. Validated. Now, however, comma, however, comma, I'm still gonna say that's cringy. If a certain situation is cringy, just like, I don't know, like two opinions ago, I'm still gonna say it if it applies. That screenshot it. We gonna hope so. We are going to hope so. I don't know about this one, y'all. I'm scared. I'm scared to read this one. Love at first sight does not exist. And just from the title, I'm gonna have to invalidate you because I'm single ready to main call. I have to believe in something. I gotta have something to hold on to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't go with that. That's not gonna happen. Let's, let's just see what you have to say though. Infatuation at first sight exists, but it's impossible to fall in love with someone when you don't even know them. Love, uh, loving someone means you deeply care for and accept them for who they are. Faults and all. Flaws and all? Faults and all? Flaws and all? Beyonce? I saw her. Thank you. Thank you to all of y'all that subscribed. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, how can you accept someone who, how can you accept a person for who they are if you don't even know them? The head over heels, butterfly in your stomach feeling is not love. That's infatuation. Infatuation can come and go over time, but love is lasting. Okay. I I'll give it to you. You're validated. It's validated. It's validated. And I'm not going to go into why because they just explained why. You got it. You got me. You got me. You got me. Ooh, this one kind of long. Okay, but just don't be the last one because I've recorded 32 minutes plus. I'm at like two right now. I've been on the floor for a while, as you can tell. And I've probably been on here like 15 minutes before because I had to figure out what I was going to record. I just wanted to record something. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, and I'm validating them immediately. I'm validating immediately before I even get into it. But we'll see how I feel afterwards because, you know, some people like to make me change my mind mid-sentence. Academic advisors for schooling create more obstacles rather than actually helping them. And I have to validate, I'm sorry. Academic advisors for, academic advisors for cause an unnecessary amount of stress upon students, especially college students and transfer students. I don't know what the first four words were for, but go you, go you is all I can say. You made me, you made me stop my sentence. I, I lost my flow. With how long it takes to get to the problem, students miss out on a lot of opportunities. Some schools have phone lines, but you end up having to sit on that phone for hours on end. If you send an email, you might not even get a response for days on end. Plus, by the time they get to the problem at hand, they don't even know who you are because of how many other students they have to help. And they may connect you to another advisor again who doesn't know who you are. A student could have used that time for other important tasks such as studying, hanging out with friends, or catching up on sleep. They almost always wait to respond to your emails or phone calls within the last hour of work so they don't have to deal with you until the weekend is over. We really need to get a better system to reduce stress among students rather than having to play phone tag along all week to reach an advisor. Um, with that being said, I'm so sorry for your situation. I completely understand what you're going through even less, but the fact that you have to be on the phone line, I don't even know what that's about. Personally, I'm I'm just a little upset because I I have to take an extra class that I wasn't planning on taking. Cause at first my last semester was supposed to be only one class I was supposed to be taking, but all of a sudden I was getting ready for my fall 23 registration, and she's like, "Oh, you need to take two classes to graduate." And I'm just like, "But you told me one class to graduate because I did what you said. I took the necessary steps beforehand. So what's going on?" Um, but yeah, uh, I'm sorry for your situation. I completely agree. I'm just a little pressed that I have to take two classes. Uh, I feel like your school just needs to get it together, quite frankly, because our system had, I mean, our school has a system, at least. I know some people be having problems with their advisors, but like our school at least has a system that you don't have to be on a phone line all day. Sorry about that. I don't know what that's about. Amen question mark anyways 
thank you all so 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 much for watching i hope y'all enjoyed this video my booty hair till i'm moving around um thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate all the new subs that came from the beyonce video i know where y'all came from i can see my analytics i love my analytics i always watch them i stalk them quite frankly but yeah if you want to see chloe bailey because you probably should if you love beyonce because beyonce trained chloe and hallie so you should want to see the fruits of her labor go ahead and watch chloe bailey's uh concert video coming in the next two weeks or depending on when i drop this video who knows because i am bad at that like i said thank you guys so much for watching i really hope y'all enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i will see y'all in the next one whenever that one is i don't know i'm in school i'm busy i'm tired i work 40 hours a week but thank you bye